Name another spot you could have seen Pavarotti and Justin Bieber in. I dare you. Welcome to Then and Now, the series that brings Toronto's past back to life. I am Morgan Cameron Ross. Today we're talking about the most iconic music venue in Canada, Massey Hall. It's Canada's most beloved music venue, a place your great-great-grandparents may have gone to, where everyone from Bob Dylan to Winston Churchill to The Weeknd have appeared. The building opened in 1894 by Hart Massey, costing a whopping $152,000. Massey dedicated it to his deceased son, who was a music lover. But Massey wanted it to be more than just a music venue. He wanted it to be a secular spot for people to hear music away from religion. He insisted on it being affordable and accessible to people of all walks of life and religion, and he succeeded. The building with the neoclassical facade is still located at 178 Victoria Street, right here, near the Eaton Center. The building opened with a capacity of 3,500 people. In this photo, you can see how large it was. Until in the 1940s, after significant renovation, the venue actually lowered its capacity to around 2,700 seats. With fears of fire danger, a fire escape was put up outside a decade after its opening. But Massey Hall wasn't just a concert venue. It also housed speeches, demonstrations, and even a boxing match at one point. Everyone has performed or appeared there. Bob Marley and the Wailers played their first Canadian show there in 1975. Van Halen played their first Canadian show there in 1978. Gordon Lightfoot has played there more than anyone else. But it's not just for folk music. Everyone from The Weeknd to Justin Bieber to Rush have played there. In 1953, it hosted what many people refer to as the best jazz concert of all time. Charlie Parker, Dizzy Gillespie, Bud Powell, Charles Mingus, and Max Roach. Seen here in this live album. Live albums, where do we start? Just look at Neil Young's Live at Massey Hall 1971 album. One of the most iconic live albums of all time. The Toronto Symphony Orchestra called Massey Hall home for around a century until 1982. In 1982, the TSO moved further south though, to what had originally been named New Massey Hall, later renamed Roy Thompson Hall. But the building has seen better days. In fact, it's gone through many phases, and at times it has been left in disrepair. So in 2018, they closed it down for a major overhaul, an overhaul worth well over $100 million in fact. Its proposed opening in fall of 2020, well, delayed. But when it does open, it will look a lot different. It will be more comfortable, it may even sound better, but well, let's all hope it still has that Massey Hall charm about it. That's it for this episode of Then and Now. I am Morgan Cameron Ross. Catch you next time on Narcity.